this video I'm going to be giving you the second part of the game shelf review and um, I'm going to be going through PlayStation 2 games this time so as you can see the very first game is Driver 3 uh, it's a very good game unfortunately I'm only able to find the case for it that's why you can only see the disc but it's a very good game it's kind of like Atari's take on Grand Theft Auto <coughs> uh, Black Market Bowling is a pretty good game as well it's two player and the story mode is pretty simple uh, quite fun for the younger audiences uh, GTA uh, Vice City is what got me into GTA it's a pretty good game, good story mode, good graphics and good cars uh, Roller Coaster World uh, it's got good graphics again uh, quite a few of these games have good graphics actually uh, it's pretty fun uh, to play uh, again it appeals to the younger audiences and uh, it's quite creative uh, it's a good game to play if you're bored so to speak um, Next game is RSC Extreme. Uh, sorry, guys, I've got a bit of a sore throat, so I'm talking a bit funny. But uh, RSC Extreme, I haven't, I haven't really played this game in a while. Uh, it's a pretty fun game, it's a rally game. It's again, it's a split screen, and it's, you know, like any other racing game. Need Speed Carbon, similar to Need Speed Underground if you played it. I've only, this is a recent purchase, so I haven't really played this game for uh, much, or it's quite a long period, so. Uh, I'm unable to give you a detailed explanation on that, but it's a pretty fun game. It's two player, like most Need for Speeds. Uh, who wants to be a millionaire? Uh, if you're in the UK, you'll know about this game show. It's pretty fun. You answer questions. Uh, you wake up and try and get two million pounds. Gran Turismo. It's pretty good. Uh, it's better than uh, G uh, Gran Turismo 3. Uh, cars are decent, there's a wide variety you can choose from. Again, it's split screen, and I think this was one of the very first games that was able to um, had the feature that you can link two PS2s together and play sc a split screen on two separate TVs, which is quite good. So, uh, of course, you need two copies of the game, but I'm not sure how that worked, but I'd love to look into it, so please leave a description. Oh, sorry, leave a description, leave a comment in the comment section below and give me a, a quick uh, feedback on that. Need to be pro, pro, pro Street. I can barely speak today. Pro Street. Uh, it's a pretty good game. Uh, it's probably it's good in its own respect. Uh, but I'm pretty much used to the Need Speed games. But you know, driving at night. You know, not on formal tracks. You know, just racing on the street. So I'm more into those kind of Need for Speed. Not really into the um, kind of professional. If I'm play, if I'm to play a professional ra uh, racing game, I'll either play Gran Turismo or a rally game, as you can see, WSC. But it's not too bad, and it's, I don't know, I guess EA's trying to uh, make Need Speed appeal to more audiences. Gran Turismo, pretty good game. Can't really fault it, even though it's Gran Turismo 3. Turning's a bit dodgy in this one, but apart from that, it's a pretty good game, I guess. Uh, as you can see, it, the next one is uh, 007 from Russia with Love. Love this game to bits. Uh, story mode is fantastic, and it's two player, so. You basically just, you know, you're on one side and you just got to try and fight the other side, as simple as that. Uh, so, that's really it for 007. New Speed Underground 2, probably one of the best on, uh, new speeds out there. Even even competes with the ones on PlayStation 3. Graphics are fantastic, customization is insane, and uh, tracks are good in there as well. Um, Pimp My Ride, obviously, I'm guessing most of you know the MTV. T uh, Pimp My Ride uh, series, which is on TV. Uh, it's a pretty good game. Uh, customization again is fantastic, and it's quite a few cars that you can actually go through, giving you quite a detailed story mode. Uh, Ratchet and Clank Locked and Loaded it wasn't one of uh, the best uh, Ratchet and Clanks out there. Obviously, um, uh, well, from my personal experience, I'd say Ratchet and Clank 3 was their best uh, release. You know, it was two player, had a more detailed story mode. It was just uh, overall a better game, and this one never really appealed to me. I found it a bit boring, and to be honest, I think the first Russian Clank was better than this one, to be honest. Uh, 007 Everything or Nothing. Uh, my take on this game, it was pretty good. It wasn't as good as Russia from Love, but the thing with this one that Russia of Love did not have. Uh, you can play two player co op, which is probably better than you know if you get fed up of versing each other. Maybe you want to do some co op. So, this game is pretty good for that. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty good game. What can I say? 
Um, as you uh, might have known, I did a um, a full review on this uh, game actually on my channel not too long back. Uh, it's a pretty good game, especially when you got the cheats on. It's fun to play, and it was the first uh, Tony Hawk on PlayStation 2, I believe. So it's pretty good, uh, considering it was the first release for PlayStation 2. So it's done pretty well. Uh, Spider-Man, I've not played this game in years, so I can't really give you much information on that. But if you uh, well, uh, like to leave a comment on it, please feel free. Uh, this is probably one of the worst GTAs I've ever played in my life. Graphics were poor, story mode was poor, cars were poor, pretty much the whole game was poor. It was just like a blatant couple of GTA 3. Absolute flop. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4, it's a good game to play. Uh, lots of uh, fun uh, skate parks. Um, Cre uh, Creator Park was good as well, it wasn't too bad. So, uh, yep, yeah, it's alright. This pile's getting a bit higher, better move to the side. And here's the best Russian Clank you could, money could possibly buy Russian Clank 3. Story mode was in so much detail. Uh, split, uh, not split screen, sorry. Well, yes, yeah, split screen, multiplayer, two player, whatever you want to call it. But it was pretty good as well. Uh, graphics are pretty decent and this game in general is quite fun to play. Uh, this was a pretty fantastic game actually. Uh, extreme, uh, it's, just, it's just called Extreme uh, Train, whatever it was, something like that. What's the game? Sorry, it's cutting the stickers on there. Uh, World Grand Prix. Uh, Pre. <laughs> Sorry, World Grand Prix. Um, yeah, uh, pretty good game. Fantastic to play. And yeah, split screen as well, so it's a pretty fun game to play. And lots of different uh, cartoony trains to choose from, so uh, it's a good game. I would recommend this one. Uh, Tony Hawk Underground, one probably one of the best Tony Hawks out there for PlayStation 2. Fantastic, graphics are perfect, and story mode is great. So that's the end of, that's the end of the uh, PlayStation 2 series of. Uh, the game shelf review. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and have a pleasant day. Bye for now.